All right, Mud Stepper's Diary, first episode. Might be the only episode if I don't want to do it anymore. But for some reason, I got my fancy hat on tonight. I don't even know why it's not that not a fancy gig. It's just at Trap Rock in Wisconsin in St. Croix Falls. And it's at the great Trap Rock Brewery. We played there once before. Really great place. Just real local, down to earth people. Great ownership. Just, just a cool spot. So we'll go up and we'll play there. It's only about an hour drive. So uh, yeah, it should be fun. Well, it was quite a journey here to Trap Rock, but I finally made it. I went through a torrential downpour rainstorm, which, uh, you know, I got my little Honda Fit. It kind of hydroplaned. It was kind of treacherous in a few spots. But the cool thing was the conditions must have just been just right because there was a double rainbow above. There was one over the skyline and there was one just on the horizon. Of course, I only caught a little bit of video, which I'm going to show you, but it was super cool. And the other cool thing about that rainbow was the conditions must have just been just right because when the cars ahead of me go went through all that water on the road, it would also create a rainbow behind the cars, which was extra special. And then this is just such a beautiful drive. You just follow the St. Croix up. And um, there was, at one point in, in a ravine, there was probably about 10 ball eagles. Okay, so it's the end of the first set at Trap Rock. And I don't drink much, but I had to get this beer. This is like a lime and sour orange uh, beer. And it is so good. Good thing I'm only one done, because you could drink like 12 of these. What do you do, Courtney? It's a vanilla porter. Oh, vanilla porter. I love it. Vanilla plus dark, man. That's the best. So that, I can't do second one, but I'm going to get a little taste of that one from the bartender. Anyway, so we got, what, two more sets to go here out of Trap Rock, so see y'all later. Trap Rock, beautiful place. You guys should visit this when you're in St. Croix Falls. They have great beer on tap that they make right here locally. Which is a cool Wisconsin venue. Well, our gig tonight was right next to Interstate Park, and so instead of making the drive back to Minnesota, Jonathan just got a campsite at the park. First, we met this little friend, and then we decided to have a little late night jam around a campfire. It was great fun. Italian. It's like a big rectangle with like stonework on it. On the front, it looks crazy. But they're like, oh, it's, it's Indolence. Indolence is like an old man. 